Hi guys, we're attempting something fun again. We're gonna make buckwheat noodles and this is gonna be a gluten-free recipe for buckwheat noodles. I know it's usually you think it's buckwheat but there's also a regular flour in it but we're gonna be using tapioca flour instead. So uh, proportion wise, we have one cup of buckwheat flour. You can either buy buckwheat flour or you can grind uh, your buckwheat. I'm actually using the white or greenish buckwheat uh, that I used for my buckwheat pancakes. You can refer to that recipe uh, to see which buckwheat I used. I have the packaging there. I don't have it anymore because I uh, used my processor to grind everything. So I just had it in a Ziploc baggie. Uh, so here we go. So we have one cup of buckwheat flour. Then we have a half a cup of tapioca flour. Okay, first step is to combine these. We're gonna add a little bit of salt. Combine all of this together. Then we have a little bit of oil and seven to eight tablespoons of regular cool water. We're gonna pour slowly, so we're gonna see how much uh, this flour needs of the water to make a dough. Okay, let's do this. The flours and the salt are combined. We're gonna add in the oil, a little bit, I would say a tablespoon or two. Mix a bit to incorporate and slowly add in some of the water. Let's mix to combine and see how much we actually need. Adding more. Yeah, I think it's gonna take in the whole amount. Okay, so I have eight tablespoons in there. Okay, this is how our mix looks like. I've dusted uh, the parchment paper with some tapioca flour. Hopefully I'll be able to mix it in and uh, roll it out. Let's see. For now I have a nice soft dough, so it seems like it's working quite well. Here we go, very pleasantly surprised. I was able to roll it out. I was able to roll it out very thinly. It's, it's awesome, I don't know. This could even be used for pizza crust. It's looking great. So on that note, take your pizza cutter and make little strips, noodles. Make it as thick or as thin as you'd like them to be. Continue going. And in the meantime, get a pot of water boiling. Here we go. This is what I got. You need a ruler for this. It's so difficult. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's actually not bad. You could also put it through a machine. I think the dough would hold up. It seems pretty sturdy. Uh, I'm pretty nervous about boiling it. I don't know if it's going to hold together. But on the other hand, we did make a tapioca uh, boba from this, sort of. Mine is the buckwheat flour and it did hold up. So let's see, let's see how this goes. Okay, take a wide spatula. This is the best way I can think of transferring these into the pot. And come with me, come with me. Here we go, oh gosh. Let's see. Okay. All right. Okay, take a little bit more. Okay, I'll try to cook it in two batches. I don't want to overfill here. Okay, let's see what happens. It's looking good for now. Okay, this is kind of looking like regular pasta, like the thick noodle pasta. Okay, we will remove our pasta now. Nice. And we'll cook up our second batch. All right, so I put a little bit of oil, some salt and pepper, and I just remembered I forgot to put salt in the water where the pasta was cooking, so it's a little bit flavorless, but so is regular pasta when it's not salt. So addition of some pizza sauce is nice, and this is what we got here. Organic pizza sauce, we're gonna put that on top, a few leaves of spinach, it's gonna be a wonderful dish. Here we go. Mm -mm -mm, I'm excited. Here we go, gonna dig in right now.
buckwheat pasta from scratch.